That's one cup Jet Puff Marshmallow Fluff, two cups Pureed Pumpkin, Now I'm coming in with my light brown sugar. I'm gonna add two cups of this. We're gonna add in one fourth a cup, half heavy whipping cream. I'm just gonna eyeball that for a fourth of a cup. All right, I'm gonna add in one stick of butter. A little bit of salt to this whole thing, just to taste. Adding in some pumpkin pie spice to taste. Just depending on your preference. I like mine very spicy. And by spicy, I mean full of spices. Now I've got a one and a fourth cup of water. Adding this to the whole thing. And now we are ready. You can see this marshmallow fluff has just kind of already started making its way out of my whisk here. It's a really handy trick that the whisk measures everything at one cup. So if you're ever doing peanut butter or another kind of butter, uh, cookie butter, you can use your whisk just like that. All right, I'm gonna start giving this a little mix. We wanna get this all mixed in here together as good as we can before we get our lid on, get this going. Ooh, look at that beautiful pumpkin color. This is gonna be a little bit sweet, a little bit savory. All right, I'm just gonna add in a little bit of pecan pieces in here. I kind of would have liked the smaller ones, but these are the ones I had at home for baking, so I'm just adding these. Now I'm just gonna put my lid on, and I'm gonna put this on high. I'm gonna let it set for just about an hour, and then we'll start with our next steps. Alrighty, y'all, we've had this run in for an hour. And now I'm just bringing in my hand mixer and we're gonna start blending this all together, just gently. We're gonna see what our consistency is like. All right, y'all, I want mine to have a little bit of a thicker texture. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more marshmallow fluff to this. And I don't think we're gonna need to let this cook longer altogether. I think we're just gonna be able to blend this in to change our texture a little bit here. But this is totally up to you if you prefer yours to be a little bit more liquidy. Okay, I think this is gonna be more like it. And it would have been good to have the smaller pecan pieces because I do feel like these ones are a little intrusive in this mixing process. But um, like I said, I only had the larger pecans. I didn't smash them up but I think you may want to use a smaller pecan piece. All right, this is the texture we want it to be. Now I'm going to add one more thing. This is this little luster dust. It's edible glitter. And I just thought this would be really fun to add to this. If you're a lady like me or a gentleman or um, a person who likes pumpkin spice, who loves, you know, the fall, who likes edible glitter. I don't know, maybe it needs a little more glitter. What do you think, Marty? Never have Does too it, much glitter, huh? Right, I don't feel like you can like, oh gosh. Okay, let's see if, maybe it's not meant to be mixed in as much as it's meant to sit on top. Anyway, I think that looks beautiful. I'm really excited. We're gonna add in our final thing here. All right, y'all, this is my boiled pasta. I just chose some rotini. I thought the ridges would be perfect in this. And um, I decided to go with the chickpea kind because I thought it would be a little bit hardier and hold up a little better. But now we've got our beautiful pecans in here, our pumpkin spice, delicious sauce. All right, just coming in with my bowl. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna add a little bit of Ready Whip on top. So cute. I don't have any fall specific sprinkles, but I'm gonna add these little stars in here. And now it's time to take a bite. I'm so excited to try our pumpkin spice pasta. Oh my gosh. 
is amazing. Wow. Mm. Y'all, this is so, so good. If you're a pumpkin spice lover like me, if you love fall, you gotta try it. Mm. 